sorry the escape artist there actually hasn't been a whole lot that changed here other than uh, renew is back which for some reason renew will stop if you attack so say if I want to go ahead and shoot hit renew but if then if I shoot again it'll cancel it so I'm not sure what the reasoning was behind that maybe they wanted it so you know escape well not escape artist but uh, first aid wasn't that powerful because they did remove the snare removal on suck it up which is why renew is back but either way renew has a 40 second cooldown two second cast time and I believe yeah renew 4 is about the same as suck it up 5 so pretty much if you go over to um, shake it off versus renew pretty much just look at it renew 4 is basically shake it off uh, 5 and 3 is like 4 2 is like 3 and 1 is like 2 resuscitation is still relatively the same it'll allow you to revive someone um, the range has been drastically reduced you can no longer revive from 10 meters away you have to be within 5 meters of your target and but it still gives that nice regen boost and whatnot and obviously you kneel down when it happens so it's actually pretty good in the furball if you can pull it off it just is a very very long cast time staunch wounds has had no changes but is still the primary heal of the game which allows you to heal move you cannot shoot while doing it but you can still heal and move and it takes stamina and it's the most efficient and I believe the second highest healing output in the game which is only next to filtration but you cannot heal yourself with filtration but that's gonna be a nanos video um, suck it up is I won't say worthless but it's definitely a lot worse than it was which I can't really argue and say that that's a bad thing or a good thing in a way it's a bad way a bad thing in a way it's a good thing because before suck it up was just so powerful that you pretty much ignored any other snare break so it pretty much defeated the purpose of even using anything else but needless to say first aid is like one of those lines where I would recommend it on every single character like no contest you always want to have first aid in your build period because you can't really make up for staunch wounds you can't you can probably make like a durable character but it's pointless just get first aid about 156 186 you could even have a lower rank of it but for pvp you definitely want to be between 156 and 186 alrighty and now let me go ahead and go to the next video